Now I've been wearing the Apple Watch Ultra for a couple of weeks now and in this video we're going to go over some of my tips and tricks, also some features you may not know about the Apple Watch Ultra. We can't talk about the new Apple Watch Ultra without touching on the action buttons which is specific to the new watch. You can program it to carry out pretty much any command using the shortcuts app but the default options it comes with is what most people are going to be using it for. I've got mine to turn on my torch. Now you've got that bright screen, 2000 nits which makes for a decent bright torch and it can light up most dark scenarios but I recommend swiping across to the red light and that emits a much softer red light, less harsh on your eyes in the dark and it's really great for darker scenarios. I'm someone that wakes up in the middle of the night and a little bit of red light helps me see what I'm doing without waking up others around me, namely the wife. It's a really good feature and that's what the red light is for. But that's not all the action button can do. You can add laps and mark a waypoint for during a run or walk. You can hold it down to activate SOS for the loud siren. You can also soon with the upcoming Oceanic Plus app start a dive, mark a depth and set a compass heading all with the new action button. But if you're not the action hero type, this next tip is for everyone. The next thing you can do is pair a watch face with a focus mode and this comes in really useful for a couple of scenarios for me. For instance, I set a focus mode for my workout so I like a particular watch face for when I'm working out in the gym uh, or doing a run. So when I press the focus mode to work out, it changes to that particular watch face, the, the one I like. Another scenario is when I'm driving, I set a focus mode to driving and I like a darker watch face so it doesn't shine up in dark scenarios like it can reflect off the windshield sometimes. I do a lot of driving at night so when you've got the watch face in a bright colour on it sometimes it can be distracting and that's when I'm driving I set my focus mode to driving and then the darker watch face appears it's a really great feature and something I use every single day. You can of course whilst using the Wayfinder watch face turn the digital crown and it will change to night mode giving you again a red light for darker scenarios for darker times times of the day but if you prefer another watch face to the Wayfinder setting a focus mode is the way to go. Now that's a bright idea. While we're talking about watch faces there are some really nice new watch faces for the Apple Watch Ultra. My favourite one is Wayfinder but other ones like Count Up allow you to start timers right from the watch face. You just tap on it, timer pops up and you can start a timer and there are a bunch of other different new ones that you can choose from and customize to your heart's content. I'm going to be making a, another video soon all about my watch face setups and ideas for getting the most out of your Apple Watch Ultra so if you're new here consider subscribing and give this video a like it really does help. There's one app that you need on your new Apple Watch Ultra, especially if you intend on leaving the house a lot without your phone. It's something called WatchTube and it allows you to watch YouTube videos on your watch. Now, the YouTube native app doesn't work with the Apple Watch, but this app does and it allows you to watch your favorite videos on your watch at the house without your phone. Now that's pretty cool. Next, precision starts for workout. You go to settings, then to work out and then click precision start. Make sure that's turned on. When you start a workout then it will idle before you start your workout and it won't start immediately. The workout timer and the distance won't start until you actually start moving. Bonus tip, don't forget you can add different workouts on the watch. Go to the bottom of the screen while selecting your workout type and you could add different workouts like fishing and gaming workouts. So whatever sort of exercise you're doing you're covered on the Apple Watch Ultra. You don't have to be an extreme adventurer or an Iron Man runner to get value from this watch. Speak time is another feature you may not know about. It actually comes default on every Apple Watch. You go to clock settings and make sure speak time is set on then all you have to do is rest two fingers on the watch face and it does this 1729 yep speaks the time and it lets you know what time it is it's a great feature especially for those visually impaired for instance the apple watches are full of features like this so not many people know about it so if you're new to the channel make sure you stay tuned we've got more videos coming on this watch very very soon
So those are some of my top tips and tricks for the new Apple Watch Ultra. There's lots of stuff to this new Apple Watch and it's my favorite device of the year when it comes to tech. It's caught me off guard a little bit, I must admit. I didn't think I would like it so much having worn Apple Watches since day one. I wasn't expecting much of a difference, but when you couple the battery life design, the extra features together with this watch really is the ultimate smartwatch. It's a real joy to wear and use on a daily basis. Okay, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. Bye guys.